Hi there, I'm Miriam, and welcome to Miriam's Manor. So today's video I have for you guys is all about my back patio. I have finally finished decorating this space and I'm really excited to get it ready for this summer, but more importantly, the fall, because in the next six weeks out here in the desert, our weather gets absolutely beautiful and I will be spending every day out here in this space. So check this out and let me know what you think. So to begin, I'm just gonna walk you through what I've done to this space so far. This was originally an open patio. We decided to enclose it about three years ago because we have a 16 foot multi slider door that I like to open up when the weather is nice without having to contend with the bugs. But I really didn't do anything with this space since then except for make it functional by adding this table as well as this couch set. Um, both of these pieces if you're interested I picked up from Ohana Furniture. I also did add this area rug as well as the outdoor TV, the outdoor curtains, as well as the ceiling fans because this is Arizona and it does get very hot. But as you can see, other than that, this is just such a blank space and it's time for me to give this space some love. So let's get to decorating. The very first thing I did to this space was make this outdoor wall planner. If you would like to see how my husband and I made this, check out my video called Wall Art Planter DIY or click on the link in the description box. This piece is the inspiration for the rest of the patio with adding the blacks and the woods throughout this space. On both sides of this wall art, I added trees to bring in more of an outdoor feel. And then next I added this picture on the opposite wall with black text with one of my favorite scriptures on it. Next, I added this wood and black metal sofa table and I'm going to decorate this table with all wooden items that I picked up from home goods and lastly I added these two black metal lanterns underneath the table that I picked up from the store at home I did decide to add one additional piece which is this three compartment server to this table. Now this space in the very back is complete and I'm going to move on to decorating the dining table. To start the table I am going to put this wooden and black metal food tray, tray in the center where I'll be putting all my goodies. I picked this piece up from Home Goods. Next, I picked up these woven placemats that I love the way that they go with the space. I do want to bring some color in, so I'm going to do that with the dishware. And I begin by adding this dinner plate. Next, I'm going to add the napkins, and I'm going to put the napkins between the dinner plate and the salad plate like you see here. And then on top of that, I am adding the salad bowl and Finally, I will add these blue water goblets. Now onto the sitting area. I decided to rearrange the furniture so that I could pull the couch back about two feet and open up the space. So this is the new furniture layout and I already have a little color on this side with the blue throw pillows. Next, I am starting with the walls. When I decorate, I like to get my wall art hung first before I move on. Next, I am adding the same wooden and black metal sofa table underneath the TV. And then I found these black large lantern baskets with the jute boat from Home Goods. To decorate this sofa table, I'm keeping it simple. I'm just adding two boxwood plants in this blue vase along with a small succulent bowl in between them. And last but not least, I am adding this wooden vase to the coffee table in the sitting area. And now this space is complete as well.
So I hope this video offered you some inspiration on how to really create more of an indoor outdoor living space for your home. This definitely has been for mine. I will be able to really use this like a three seasons room and spend about nine months out of the year in this space. So I'm so super excited about that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also click on that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so that you guys don't miss all of the upcoming videos that I have coming up very soon. I am getting ready to start fall very soon and then directly at kind of simultaneously, I will be starting my Christmas village, getting my builds started and different things like that. So I've got a lot of stuff coming your way from now until about October timeframe for fall and Christmas. So Click on that notification bell if you guys don't want to miss any of those. And until I see you again, stay safe. God bless you. And I hope to see you back really soon. Bye.